Fifth about thousand plus. It should work out cheaper for me. Three four thousand. Two one five, even more. It's worth for two hundred plus. Four hundred bucks of savings. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, my package just arrived. Ta -da! <laughs> okay, uh, I've been trying to get myself a helmet for a very long time because every single time I go to Sepang or uh, I go to some events or even when I go to Audi's Newburgh test track in uh, Ingolstadt I never got to fit into their helmets all right um, I have an unusually big head and uh, it's always I always have a little bit of a phobia whenever there's a track day event I was always worried that I either cannot uh, fit comfortably into their helmet or I can't fit at all of course there are quite a number of times where I managed to squeeze my head into a helmet but most of the time uh, is pressing against my temple and is super duper painful and there was one day where I went to shop for helmets with uh, Alex Stamrock <laughs> he brought me around and uh, Sunway there and I went into a few shops they we tried, we tried, you know, every single double XL. I just, you know, I love the design of that Bell helmet, that brand Bell. They have that one bullet. You know, it looks amazing. And um, unfortunately, their entire shop doesn't. It's not that they don't have. They already have the larger size, but it just couldn't fit my head. And. Um, uh, there was this time that I was at Ducati and uh, it was the launch of the what Super Legera blah 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 the fastest bike in the world and um, they have a section where they sell helmets yeah I was trying on and just couldn't fit and the other day I went to Lazada and I was just searching and I re I discovered that I can select sizes in Lazada so I just clicked triple X and guess what this one is a triple X now I'm not sure if I fit I'm, I'm not sure but it is the largest helmet they make this brand LS2 now um, I don't care about performance I'm not a biker and even though I do sometimes go to Sepang I'm not a tr tracky either it's not like I'm someone who always goes to the track or every Sepang event I will just you know, go in there, turn one, turn two, two minute forty, two minute thirty nine. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm just using my helmet for for go karts because of our clubhouse, and we have some, quite some activities uh, to do with go karts. All right. Uh, of course, it will be extremely helpful that I can bring my own helmet to any Sepang event, especially now with COVID and all that. Right, I'm not comfortable using helmets that has been recycled after many many people use it you know even though they spray and all that anyway and uh, when I was at Audi's uh, new book track to test drive the then brand new Audi R8 V10 and um, they the Germans were yeah they are they are their whole preparation there was destroyed by me because none of the helmets could fit my head and it was an international event and uh, I was like ha ah, I beat the Germans who were ever ready for everything you know and then and then they took out a piece of paper and I was like wow I did not beat them because they have a piece of paper just in case someone couldn't fit all the helmet I would wave them it is basically an indemnity form where I waive them from all the rights involved if I were to get myself hurt. And after signing that paper, I am free to go into the track in my Audi R8 without a helmet, able to enjoy the car while I look at all my peers there 
in their little helmet. I hate wearing helmets on the track. All right. Now this, I have no idea about this brand, but when I found this being in the the size that I wanted, and I look around, oh, they have many different colors, and I especially like the one in full white or matte black. But unfortunately, as you may have guessed, they don't have my size available. So I picked one that is the only one available with my size, which is a blue one. Some people may like blue, but I, I don't. I don't. I, I, I just find it rather ugly. All right, so um, opening the case, very straightforward. Oh yeah, another reason why I was like, okay, this is the one is because this is a modular helmet, meaning that the chin part can be flipped up, which is something I like because I'm not like a biker and I went touring. And I learned from uh, Cashy Dillon, who runs uh, Bikes Republic, the number one, the authority in bikes, all right, is Bikes Republic. And he also runs the car website, Piston. So go find him out. Cashy Dillon is my really, really good friend. He explained to me the differences between bike helmets and car helmets, which of course Chris Wee also explained a lot to me as well. You know, basically bike helmets are, you know, wider, they can see more out of the peripheral vision, and usually bike helmets, dedicated bike helmets are cheaper. Uh, car helmets have the Hans device and all that, which is more expensive. All right. So, oh, 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 what do I get in the box? A bag in camo. Interesting. And uh, I'm not sure what it is, but it could be a balaclava. So, uh, and uh, this is, uh, what the hell is this? Pinlock Max Vision. What is that? Is a fog resistant insert lens out of moisture absorbing plastic. The pin lock creates an airtight double shield. Remove the original visor from the helmet, flex the original visor carefully until there is no more tension on the pin lock lens. Carefully remove the pin lock lens from its position. Blah 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 blah. So it's basically a kind of a I don't know, a, a screen protector for the screen. Now, it's time to open up and check out my helmet. All right, this bag is, um, oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a backpack, so it's pretty cute, huh? Uh, oh, this could be a bag. Let me check. It's my first time buying a helmet. I've been trying to buy one. And of course, I initially wanted to, you know, I initially budgeted myself about seven, eight thousand ringgit. I want to buy those, you know, like full carbon fiber because I think they just look so damn cool. My, okay, my initial choice is either a full carbon fiber helmet, which is like super cool, like the one that Tom Go has, Tom Go from zero to hundred. I thought that was like super cool. Or on the other end of the spectrum, I wanted to buy just a helmet for go kart. For nonsense reason and I actually wanted to buy the, those funny helmets you know like like Predator, Iron Man or uh, the one that I wanted is the rice cooker yes the rice cooker helmet and they have plenty of those in China but unfortunately Malaysia someone is profiting a lot from helmets because apparently helmets needs AP hmm AP for helmets so if you buy a helmet from online websites they're gonna arrive in Malaysia they're gonna get uh, hold up by customs and from what I learned I need to go to JPJ get a letter take the letter to customs the customs would issue a letter maybe something like that and then go back to JPJ and then go get an AP and then go to JPJ blah 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 right. sorry um, as I was saying this is what came up from this pack. What is this? I blow and then for... It says helmet support. What, what could that be? So I, I, I really blow this up and put it on my neck so that it supports the helmet. Okay, it makes sense. Per, per, perhaps. Alright, anyway. <laughs> uh, 
thank you. And, uh, oh, I've, I have no idea where LS2 is from until I bought it. Then I realized uh, it's a brand from Australia. Uh, it's not expensive. Uh, I see the, 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 uh, the official retail price is uh, 1005 but I bought it for like 1002 <coughs> Sorry for that. So, time to open it up. Okay, then maybe I go through the back first. I don't know what it is for. Uh, are there any other pockets? Nope, nothing. Maybe that's for the balaclava. Oh, oh, oh! It's my first helmet. I do not know if helmet all helmet bags are like that, but they should. Yeah. Oh. Now I can go go kart and come back smelling good. Oh, not good, smelling like myself. <sighs> now, there are quite a few events that car makers gave out helmets, like uh, Volkswagen and uh, I don't know, Porsche also. But I, I let my staffs go and then they, they took it. And yeah, I'll give it, give it to them. <laughs> my team, yeah, my lovely team. Oh, it's matte blue. Okay, it's matte blue. This is it. That's my helmet. Uh, I have no idea yet if, if, if I fit. So I'm not cutting all these. Just in case I don't fit. Hopefully. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Quality stuff. I thought all these are... I thought all these are made of plastic. This is metal. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It looks... Feels like a rather quality helmet, and uh, uh, that's a visor. That's like a fighter jet thingy. Yeah, that's 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 really cool. I I realized this after I bought it. After I watch videos, look at that. How cool is that? Oh, right, missile lock. That's pretty cool. But like I said, things that can move will one day stop moving. Yeah. That applies to your sunroof, that applies to your automated butt washer. Yeah, that's the that's the nicest word I thought of, I can think of. Alright, how do I how do I do Oh oh this one is free moving? And 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 Damn! See, it opens up and it goes to the back. Okay, let's, let's flip it back. Alright. And I saw something really cool the other day. If you put this down, somehow when you open it, this thing will flip up. Let's try. How does this work? supposed to move back. Crap, did I just broke it? Why did it go stuck? Uh, and did I broke something? Oh, 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 oh. Oh yes. Okay. So when you pull this, that visor will go up. Oh, that's very cool. I like it. Okay, the build looks Okay, looks like nothing I've tried out there, lah, huh? I guess uh, all the helmets that are provided for us to use on the track uh, won't be as premium as this. So this costs me 1002 and it looks a lot nicer than pictures. The matte finish is really nice. Uh, they say all these vents are useful, unlike those on new BMWs. <laughs> and this is Triple uh, XL, the largest size. I'm not going to remove anything. Now I'm just going to pray that I fit. <laughs> 
so far when I look at this, it looks really small. It looks very tiny, the entry. I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to... Okay, let's try it. Okay, Crispy told me I have to pull both sides. Okay, let's remove this first. Okay, uh, it's pressing against my temple. Yeah, this part is it's a bit painful, but I can move it slightly so that so that it doesn't. But if I move it slightly up front so that it doesn't press on the widest part of my head, this thing would be on my neck instead of my chin so I have to move it back oh is my head that big crap and this fits just about right okay this is the largest helmet they make and it barely barely sits on my head so this is the problem that I face every single time I go to a track all right uh, it presses against my temple and and it's pretty uncomfortable. The helmet itself is comfortable. Okay, okay. I just move it slightly. Now I don't feel the pressure point. And uh, if I'm able to, to adjust this, I think I could later on when I have better visual coordination. Um, <laughs> am I that fat? Am I? So technically sumo wrestlers all can't ride bikes, right? Or, or do they? Seriously? Uh, I feel sad. Is that the longest? Cannot be, right? No, you know what? The, I hear myself rather clearly. So anyway, let's try this. Ow! 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 Now it's really pressing on my head. So I guess just now my head flexes the, the helmet. And after this thing locks down, it pulls both sides back. And now it's really painful. Crap, this is triple XL. I'm gonna be disappointed. Oh my god. Okay, this is what it feels like. Every single time I wear a helmet, it presses against my temple here and is very uncomfortable. It is a comfortable helmet. The, the materials are nice. It's just... Oh my god. I'm gonna get a headache later. Let me relieve the pain. Is it my problem? I mean, I'm a freaking Asian, like 5 feet 11. 5 foot 11, whatever. Oh... Okay, put this down. How, how do people breathe in a helmet? How? How am I supposed to go 15 laps in this? Oh. Okay, what about this? <laughs> Hello? Motherfucker. Woohoo! 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 Get away, man. I'm disappointed. I thought it would be, you know? Oh. Okay, opening this helps a lot more. But, uh, I thought this round would be happily ever after. You know? It's like... Now I'm conflicted. I'm not sure. Okay, even though I do not know their return policy, alright? And it's unfair for me to wear this and then uh, buy it, open it up, and then... Uh, and, 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 and it's my bone. 
right? It's not that I have two flabby fat shit over here that I need to slim down my head. <sighs> Will my head get smaller if I erect myself? Because the blood goes down. So. Okay. Anyway, here's my... Uh, I'm not qualified to review anything about helmets, but this is what it is. It is a. Uh, it's very nice. It's premium materials. It's just that my head is just too big. Uh, there was once I was in a track event that the organizers have to remove the entire lining in their triple X helmet to put my head in, yeah, you have to remove the lining. Now imagine it was so tight, imagine I put on the balaclava, it's going to be even tighter. Oh, I feel disappointed, not in the helmet, but, but myself, I'm disappointed with me. This is the largest size, and it's a freaking nice helmet. It's very well built, it's beautiful, it's uh, uh, stylish, can I say that? And it has a lot of cool text, you know, printed on the sides. Two, I was about to say 2S7, then I realized it's actually LS2, you know, on the flip side. Yeah. Uh, it's chrome, black chrome over here. It's really nice, you know. That's, ooh, what's this? What's this? Is that like a vent or something? It's pretty cool. And um, though it fits. Now I am conflicted. I am now in a dilemma of not knowing should I and I can't pass this to another another friend like like I, I like giving out stuffs you know and uh, I don't think I can give this to any friend because their head just aren't as big as mine you know so uh, I'm not sure oh, it's really painful it's like Pressing against my temple. Crap. Anyway, that's the LS2 helmet. And uh, I will try and use it on the on, 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 on some of the go-kart session that my team organizes. And uh, hopefully, maybe I get used to it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I will ever get used to this because I have my fair share of now, why does that sound familiar? Oh, that's Van Damme. I have my fair share of uh, painful helmet experiences throughout my 12-year career in the automotive industry. And uh, I'm not sure how to overcome it. And I'm pretty sure this round is not the end of my helmet pursuing journey. Because, put it simply, it's painful. So I don't think I would, you know, go and write some crappy let letter and send to these guys who uh, deliver the helmet to me on time. Who's the seller? What's that name? Moto Sedunia from Kedah. I just realized that. Okay, a shout out for them. Uh, they deliver it very fast, you know. Um, I, I don't think I will do that, you know, like write them a crappy le letter and say, oh please, you know, I just briefly wear it, blah blah, and then I don't put a video up, and then, oh I tell them, oh I didn't even wear it, but it doesn't fit, blah blah, I put a balaclava before I put on the helmet, blah 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 blah, please allow me to return, pay me back the money, and uh, no, I, I usually don't do that, I, I mean, if I bought something that isn't, uh, suitable for me maybe I'll just give it to a friend or something and uh, and when you see their smiles you're happy it's not that I'm a super rich guy but I just I I, I find joy in uh, giving people things if they accept you know so anyway I'll try it and uh, time to throw away the box and uh, at last I have my own helmet even though I may not be the helmet's final owner. Oh, it's, it's painful. This part is really painful. Yeah, 
that's about it. Alright, thank you guys. And uh, if, if it's your first time watching my video, uh, please check out the descriptions below. You can see 17 of my team members there. Everybody has their own YouTube channel. We do, we do different things. And, um, and I have reviewed more than a thousand cars in the past two to three years. And a lot of other videos if you are keen to check out. Thank you. And cheers. on the rise now. Endless celebrations all in my house. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Let them boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yelling time out. And to quit it, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was handling my business. Now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my business is humongous. You were thinking that happens in it.